everyone, um, I'm Lina, I'm a tarot reader from the Philippines and today I thought I would talk about a deck that I have a very special relationship with but I didn't include in my main decks and mood decks video because it is somewhere in between and I feel like it has a very unique kind of use to me in my tarot practice. So this is the Pagan Other Worlds Tarot by Usi. Usi? Is that how you say it? I'm really not sure. So the thing about this deck is it's very special to me because it's the deck that I've wanted for the longest time. Um, since it came out, I've sort of been stalking it online and just watching people do reviews, watching people do flip-throughs, that kind of thing. Um, and for the longest time, I was really, really hesitant about whether or not to get it because it's a little bit pricey. It's from an independent creator. And here in the Philippines, if customs doesn't have a special relationship with a retail outlet that you are like sort of talking to or buying stuff from, they will most likely hold your package and you'll have to pay like this insanely huge amount just to get something that you already paid for. Yeah, it's just something that I wasn't sure if it would be worth it to get. And actually, I didn't buy this. My friend, who is also a tarot reader, was kind enough to give this to me as a Christmas slash birthday gift, I swear. Like, I wish that we had sort of video recorded the moment that I opened it because I was like, no way. <laughs> like, all of the... There was like an Uzi, um canvas bag thing and I was like, oh my god, no way! This is something I've wanted since the time where I was solely reading with the Rider-Waite-Smith system and now I've kind of been going into the Thought system and just deepening my study in that. And I feel like there's something about the Thought system, whether you're using like the Thought cards or the Tabula Mundi cards, that is very deep. And not to say that the RWS isn't deep, but there's a certain like different level of depth when it comes to the Thought Tarot because there's so many things like woven into each card and it's not quite as, as literal. And there are lots of things that you kind of need to learn first by the book and then through intuition, uh, just by practicing every day, etc. And I have been like trying to religiously follow uh, my practice regimen for every day. And given that, like while I love doing that, I do admit that it kind of puts me in this very dreamy headspace or this headspace that's very introspective. And sometimes that's not the best if you need something very practical, if you need something that's just you know, down to earth and kind of very, very mundane, <laughs> very much on this earthly plane. And surprisingly, I feel like that's what this deck strength has been for me for the past like two months or so that I've been reading with it. I really expected this to kind of vibrate on that soul level where it wants you to kind of deepen your relationship with stuff, etc. But when I did my deck interview for this, it did turn out to be like a very earthly card. I think what I got for it like um, as its strength as a deck was the Ace of Pentacles or I can't remember if it was the Ace of Pentacles or like the Ten of Pentacles but one of the big like Pentacles cards and yeah definitely trusted <laughs> in that way because it is just such a good deck for reading for everyday stuff for stuff that actually requires immediate action or that can be addressed by immediate action. So yeah, I thought this would be like an apt time to kind of talk about this because we are in retrograde season. So honestly, stuff has just been so crazy. <laughs> like, like online banking has been freaking haywire. My Bluetooth keyboard was acting up the other day. And the thing about retrogrades is I don't always see it as like this dreaded dreaded thing although there is something very tiring about having to kind of plow through all of these tasks that normally would be easy for you but i think retrograde is more a call to kind of slow down and these cards have kind of been helping me navigate that in the sense that if there's something i'm having trouble with i will ask the cards and usually the solution that they present is pretty pretty dang clear as an example, the other day, I was wondering whether or not I should go for like this insurance thing that my financial advisor kind of turned me on to and he was saying like, it's gonna be um, pretty cool because you get this amount of coverage for just this price 
and honestly like given the fact that it was health insurance it's something that on a like logical level i would just normally go for because obviously it's really difficult here in the philippines if you don't have insurance because medical bills and stuff just cost so much so i was 100 percent ready to invest in it <laughs> and then i pulled some cards and this old bad boy came out um, along with the nine of pentacles reversed so it was kind of this weird thing where it's like nine and nine and then one is a loss and here literally the swan is like chained to it like chained to the anxiety chained to this uh deal or like this thing that's happening and when i checked out like the company that was doing that um or like that was offering this insurance thing it was so cool because literally like the their logo was like a sword and i was like holy shields those are zooms. and the thing is when i pressed kind of further and started asking more questions about the deal it was weird because like the packet they sent me it was super shady like the packet that they sent me wasn't even like the official packet it was just like screenshotted brochures and stuff so so definitely kind of kind of sketchy and i actually found out from my sister-in-law that they don't do that like online payment method thing the people that i was talking to um were asking me to deposit it directly so i was like huh what does that mean like they would be the ones to do it for me i guess to process it for me but it would be just really weird anyway so yeah um i feel like this deck is just so good at earthly stuff like that and you know stuff that has to do with finances so very very queen of pentacles kind of stuff and it's just so refreshing to have a deck like that and i thought i'd kind of share that with you guys today i'm also kind of working on this as a deck that i can do some spell work with because it is so good with that and last week or was it last last week i was just feeling super duper uninspired at work and um i kind of pulled a couple of cards from this deck asking why that is or uh, what it is that i can do to kind of get out of that emotional funk and it gave me the five of cups reversed and it's so interesting because at the time um i kind of realized that i was feeling some disappointment in how certain meetings had gone i was feeling a little bit disillusioned in how my performance was received like when it came to some uh, projects and <laughs> reports and stuff like that so yeah definitely definitely um, resonated with me and I took a photo of that and kind of used it as this glyph thing on my phone just to kind of remind me about it and I really think that it worked I feel like there is some kind of subtle spell work in that as well because of how much you imbue it with that intention and um, like that will to embody that moving forward yeah. so please um, I would really like to know if this deck has kind of worked with you in that way um, are there any other people who have the pagan other worlds deck and use it more for practical stuff if not just let me know I guess like if you're interested in this deck if it's um, something that you've been eyeing for a while or if you have it and you use it for different things um, I would love to know thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye